Top 10 Horror Movies Hey there YouTube, ready to get spoopy up in here? Because we got a really good spoopy list right now. About time for Halloween, but this will probably be out after Halloween. Oh well, to be perfectly honest, Thanksgiving is just as terrifying if you actually look at the history. But moving on, not everybody loves scary stories, but for those who do, everyone has their all-time favorites. Some people love slashers, some love thrillers, and others love paranormal scares or found footage movies. Of course, then there's Paranormal Activity, a paranormal found footage movie that just seems to get stale with every iteration. Yeah, but again, moving on. Every horror fan has a top 10 list, but today on Top 5 Best, we're showcasing the top 10 of the best movies ever made in the horror series. So, lock your doors and dive under the sheets, because we're counting down the top 10 horror movies. <laughs> Let's begin, shall we? Because we all float down here. Number 10, The Evil Dead. The Evil Dead is considered to be one of the most famous cult classic movies of all time. It was created in 1981 and written and directed by Sam Raimi, the same guy who made the original Spider-Man trilogy. The film starred the then-unknown Bruce Campbell, Ellen Sandweiss, and Betsy Baker. Now, despite its low budget and the melodramatic bad acting due to the actor's inexperience, the film grossed over $2.4 million at the box office and launched the careers of Raimi, Campbell, and Tabert, who collaborated on films for years afterwards. It maintained a fairly simple plot structure and wasn't shy on the gore. Even though the movie was hard to film, it was immensely popular, and Stephen King praised it as the most ferociously original horror movie of the year. The Evil Dead is what you would want if you want a classic Cabin in the Woods movie, and it never fails a frighten on the first watch. It spawned two sequels, a remake, and even a TV show, which is still on to this day. Even though later iterations of The Evil Dead took a more comedic tone, the original is still a horrifying classic and worth a watch. However, thinking on all this, I just can't help but think of The Evil Dead 3. You see this? THIS IS MY BOOMSTICK! Number 9, Psycho. Psycho is a 1960 American psychological horror film directed and produced by Alfred Hitchcock and written by Joseph Stefano, starring Anthony Perkins, Janet Leigh, John Gavin, Vera Miles, and Martin Balsam, and was based on the 1959 novel of the same name by Robert Bloch. It is arguably Alfred Hitchcock's best horror movie and is one of the most iconic in the genre. The film initially received mixed reviews, however, outstanding box office returns prompted reconsideration which led to a overwhelming critical acclaim including Best Supporting Actress for Leigh and Best Director for Hitchcock. After Hitchcock's death in 1980, Universal Studios began producing follow-ups, three sequels, a remake, a television film spin-off, and a contemporary prequel TV series. Its iconic shower scene has been parodied and referenced thousands of times in TV and film, and the Bates Motel TV series has grown immensely popular and launched some careers of its own. So, good for that. However, don't watch the remake. It's just... it's not that good. Number 8. Nightmare on Elm Street. Scary Terry. Okay, this isn't exactly who it was about, but, you know, it inspired it, and I love that guy. Nightmare on Elm Street is a classic slasher horror movie and is one of the scariest. It contains a monster that is almost impossible to defeat, and impossible to outrun as well. It was directed by Wes Craven in 1984 and starred Heather Langenkamp, John Saxon, Roni Blakely, Amanda Wyss, Sue Garcia, Robert England, and even a young Johnny Depp. Freddy is horrifying not only for his ability to kill his victims mysteriously, but for his ability to kill them when they are at their weakest, in their dreams. A Nightmare on Elm Street never fails to horrify its viewers with Freddy's signature weapon, a bladed glove. His backstory is even more horrifying, and he wasn't exactly a great guy in his life on Earth either. As a main character who isn't an idiot and gives all the characters a fair chance against their supernatural foe. Be careful when you watch this movie, because you won't feel like sleeping afterwards. Also, it gave you a great parody in The Simpsons with Willie being Freddy Krueger. And also it gave a Scary Terry! Yeah! Number 7, The Exorcist. Now, The Exorcist is a 1973 American supernatural horror film adapted by William Peter Blatty from his 1971 novel of the same name, and starring Ellen Burson, Linda Blair, Max von Sydow, and Jason Miller. The film earned 10 Academy Award nominations, winning Best Sound Mixing and Best Adapted Screenplay. It became one of the highest grossing films in history, grossing over $441 million worldwide. This was in the aftermath of the various re-releases and was the first horror film to be nominated for the Academy Award for Best Picture. It was one of the most controversial films in history because it gave viewers a unique view upon evil itself, and in the form of a possessed young girl, no less. That's really hard to swallow back then, and even then, kinda now. Viewers were both shocked and outraged at the sight of a young girl shouting profanities and becoming violent towards a priest. 
Once the film aired, reports of possessions increased tenfold and the film was slandered by most churches and religious organizations. It may seem a little bit dated now, but when it came out it was one of the most talked about things of the year. Again, it's also one of the highest grossing horror films in history and had a huge cultural impact and helped to expand on just how far horror movies could push it. Number 6. Scream Scream is a 1996 American slasher film written by Kevin Williamson and directed by Wes Craven. The film stars David Arquette, Neve Campbell, Courtney Cox, Matthew Lillard, Rose McGowan, Skeet Ulrich, and Drew Barrymore. Released on December 20, 1996, Scream follows the character of Sydney, a high school student in the town of Woodsboro, California, who becomes the target of a mysterious killer known as Ghostface. Ghostface is possibly one of the most iconic killers ever, with his mask being a classic Halloween prop that is a go-to for any Halloween party. Scream was different than the other slashers of its time, because it was self-aware and knew what it was. It even made fun of other slashers before it. It is the meta-horror movie. Scream doesn't just have to be a commentary on the slasher genre, though, because it also is a very solid horror movie in its own respect. It never fails to terrify, and trying to decipher who the killer is puts you in the shoes of the protagonist, and makes the movie all the more terrifying. You'll be sure to scream when you watch this one, and maybe after that, watch the TV series that came out this year. I hear it's pretty good. Number 5. Alien Alien is a 1979 science fiction horror film, directed by the famous Ridley Scott and starring Sigourney Weaver, Tom Skerritt, Veronica Cartwright, Harry Dean Stratton, John Hurt, Ian Holm, and Yapat Koto. I don't know how that's pronounced, so I do apologize. The film's title refers to a highly aggressive extraterrestrial creature that stalks and attacks the crew of a spaceship. Now, there is nothing more terrifying than being trapped in a claustrophobic environment in the middle of space with no one to save you, and an alien hunting you down, no less. Alien is one of the most critically acclaimed horror movies ever, and if you are having doubts on watching it, just watch the chestburster scene and make your decision from there. Alien has spawned many sequels, including Alien Covenant, which came out this year. Alien is a classic and never fails to horrify, and in all honesty, its sequel, Aliens, is even more terrifying. Don't watch Alien Resurrection, though. That wasn't a good one. Number 4. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a 1974 American horror film directed by Toby Hooper and stars Marilyn Burns, Paul A. Partain, Edwin Neal, Jim Sido, and Gunnar Hansen, who respectively portray Sally Hardesty, Franklin Hardesty, The Hitchhiker, The Proprietor, and the film's villain, The Terrifying Leatherface. The film follows a group of friends who fall victim to a family of cannibals while on their way to visit an old homestead. This takes the plot of Wrong Place, Wrong Time and turns it up to 11. The horror genre was a different place in 1974, but films like The Texas Chainsaw Massacre helped to change the way horror is today. If you think that is too dated, just take a watch and you'll see why the horror and underlying fear of the movie is still there. There's almost nothing more terrifying than being alone in a place where no one can help you. Being chased by cannibals. Number 3. Halloween Halloween is a 1978 American slasher film directed and scored by John Carpenter and starring Donald Pleasance and Jamie Lee Curtis in her film debut. This is what many call the birth of popularization of the entire slasher genre. If you ever enjoyed Friday the 13th, Scream, or any other slasher, you have Halloween to thank. John Carpenter was young and fresh out of film school, and he decided to make a movie that he would have enjoyed watching as a teenager, and decided to make what is now one of the most famous horror movies ever. He also composed its very iconic theme song. Halloween is scary not only for its Michael Myers size, but for his intent. He has no other goal than to kill. He is pure evil, the very incarnation of it, and everything about him is now famous. From his mask to his kitchen knife, everything that Michael Myers did, horror movies would be doing for years, imitating the legend. Give this movie a watch, but remember to keep a coat hanger handy. Number 2. The Thing The Thing, also known as John Carpenter's The Thing, is a 1982 American science fiction horror film directed by John Carpenter, written by Bill Lancaster, and starring Kurt Russell. The film's title refers to its primary antagonist, a parasitic extraterrestrial life form that assimilates other organisms and in turn imitates them. The film was a box office and critical failure, but it wasn't until years later that everybody realized that it was a horror masterpiece. The plot revolved around The Thing, a creature that could look like anything and replicate it to almost perfection. However, it wasn't peaceful and its many forms are horrifying to look at. The Thing wasn't the only problem on the base, however. Part of the suspense of The Thing is the fact that The Thing could be anybody, which leads to the now iconic blood test scene. Special effects are some of the best in movie history and they still hold up today. If you're tempted to watch the remake, it might be better to skip it because nothing beats the original thing. Eh? Eh? See what we did there? Eh? eh okay. 
Now before we get to number one, I want to give some honorable mentions because a few of the good movies here didn't make the list. Friday the 13th. Stephen King's It 2017. And the scariest movie of all time, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Funniest film ever made. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Attack, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. You've never seen a film like it. This is the incredible story of the world's ultimate disaster. Vicious man-eating tomatoes grow to monstrous proportions. Oh god, so spoopy. Number one, The Shining. Here's Johnny. It doesn't sound as good when I say it. The Shining is a 1980 horror film produced and directed by Stanley Kubrick and is based on Stephen King's 1977 novel The Shining. It is famous for not only its most iconic scenes, which include the hallway twins, but the bathroom scene. Kubrick captures what makes horror movies scary. The sense of paranoia, the tension, the suspense that comes with watching The Shining makes you remember why you love horror. Oh, it's such a good movie! The Shining is a prime example of horror. Just be sure to keep a light on, of course. Also, a little known fact, there's actually two versions of The Shining, the Stanley Kubrick one, which is highly acclaimed, and the Stephen King one, which is, uh, well, it's not good. I'd watch the original. Still there? We hope you enjoyed our top 10 horror movies. What are your top 10 horror movies? Give us your list below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever a new top 10 comes out, and I'll see you all in the next video.